Hi, and welcome to our Adobe Illustrator in Under 10 tutorial series where we discuss techniques in Adobe Illustrator in under 10 minutes. And what we have here on our screen is a plethora of rectangles. And the purpose behind that is because these are going to help us illustrate how to use the magic wand tool. The way to get to the magic wand tool is to hit the Y button on your keyboard. That is the shortcut. Or you can go into your toolbar and look for the magic wand. It is the third icon down. So let's deselect these. Right now, what I did was I dragged out a bunch of rectangles onto the screen. You can use any shape, you can use any object, as long as it has color to it. And what you're going to do is you're going to select similar shapes. But we want to put some differences between them by giving some of them different colors than the others. So what I did was I gave three different types of color sets. I have browns, I have greens, and I have a grayish green. And because of that, we have multiple shapes with the same color, but they're segmented into three different properties. So when I select one, it will select only those within that family of colors. If I select another, it will do the same with a magic wand tool, of course. And lastly, the same thing here. Now, with that, you can then change the colors of that entire group. So if you have a swatch that's applied to multiple objects and you don't have a global color set and you want to change those colors, it's very easy for you to actually just click the color in your artboard and it will select everything within that range. Now, when it does this, it makes it very, very easy for you to change the color and you can also select other colors by holding the shift key. And when you do that, it will select those other colors too and you can change those accordingly. Now, there are times where a color may be so closely related to another one that it may select both of them. So let's open up our options by double clicking on our magic wand tool and let's bump up our tolerance to let's say 79 and let's see if this actually works. When we click this now you'll notice that it's selecting pretty much everything that's on the artboard and that's because we've raised our tolerance. But if we lower it and let's say we go back out here and then we click now it's not clicking everything but we could also bump it up let's say we click these now it's just selecting these browns because they're very closely related if we wanted to lower it down and make it so it doesn't select those now at a lower tolerance level we can just select the specific ones that we wanted now this is relevant for all of the options that are under here so we have fill color stroke color stroke weight it does the same thing for those so there will be a tolerance of uh, a point difference that it will accept as long as it's within that range, as well as the same thing for the stroke color, for the tolerance that it does for the fill color. And you can change it for tolerance and opacity or opacity, and as well as the blending mode. So these are the options that are under the magic wand tool. It's a very simple tool, very easy to get used to, doesn't take a lot of practice. One session, probably right after this, you'll be an expert in using the magic wand tool in Adobe Illustrator. So if you have any questions, though, you can find me online at www.theonewillfocus.com or you can find me on social media at The One Will Focus, all spelled out, T-H-E-O-N-E-W-I-L-L-F-O-C-U-S. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next tutorial. Take care.